and, and we don't know each other, so I gotta. Hmm. That might work. And you can bring that forward and flip it around and do what you need. Yep, I'll go stick right here. I think that'll be. Good. Yep. <clears throat> Get my Corona cough out of here. All right. So, uh, all right, Bay family, you just saw the interaction with the chief of police out here in Placerville. A uh, little bit rough start, and then it started to maybe get a little better, and we're just going to ask him a couple questions um, and just see how he feels about the First Amendment, what we do, and if it's a necessity. So uh, why don't you introduce yourself again? They already saw you, but... Um, <laughs> and, and, and before before I do that, I, I owe him a, a significant apology, you know, and I think that's what's wrong with with where society's at. People are just so stressed and strained that, you know, everything is, is this. And, and and I'm human. I, I'm i a work in progress, man. I wake up every day trying to be a better person than I was the day before. So that initial uh, confront, uh, confrontation sounds rough, but I mean, I guess it's, it's what, what it was. Uh, I owe him apology, uh, and I owe, owe his viewers apology. Where that was coming from was me being overprotective of my staff. Um, that's where that was coming from. It wasn't coming from about what you're doing. Uh, respect, I, we'll get into that. I'm Joe Ram, the chief of police here in Placerville. Uh, been the chief since August. Uh, came up here in 2016 as a commander. Used to work down in the valley where I spent most of my time. So, where, What part of the Central Valley? Or? Central, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. So, yeah, the interaction started out rough and you said it's uh partly because you were being overprotective of your staff and i think that that that's part of the problem mm -hmm. um and the gap between police and the public right is the police have a you guys have this tight bond brotherhood that you guys have right and you guys feel the need to protect you feel like this is home base and you got to protect it but essentially what it is is this is just a public building, you know, and you guys have to protect yourselves and take certain precautions. But in, in this situation where I believe you're wrong and I think you'll probably agree is you saw a man with a camera. I was taking pictures. You already said that's 100 percent illegal, which I knew it to be. Um, and you still approached the way you did. And I think we could have definitely bridged that gap and highlighted your office a little bit better if that never happened. And that protective instinct. It's probably what led you there, right? Would you agree? Yeah. And, and where that and where that's coming from, um, and again, I don't want to get into the excuse and reason. It's just a, a reality. Um, we don't have any First Amendment auditors up here. We have one guy that's pretty pretty active. Um, our our people have great interactions with him. Um, he does his thing. We do ours. We support the activity. It's the First Amendment for a reason. It's the most important. We have the, the Second Amendment to protect the First Amendment. There's nothing more important than the First. Right. The Founding Fathers knew that, and it, it, it should carry on uh, each generation of American citizen. It should carry on uh, uh, the importance of it. So we don't have many First Amendment auditors up here. It's a small town. It's kind of a, a just a, it's, I don't want to say it's a sleepy town. We have the same stuff everybody else does, but it's, it's a small town. That's why I came here. Recently, we've had more issues with um, extremist groups, um, and that's that's the federal government's terminology of them, not mine, um, that have had uh, negative interactions with the police, wanting to provoke them, the death threats that are coming in, stuff like that. So when I saw you, and, and, I, and I apologize sincerely, I didn't see a First Amendment auditor. I saw somebody trying to gather intelligence on civilian staff's vehicles and stuff like that. So if I had that posture of, you know, what's going on, I, 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 you know, I want to, um, I want to make sure that that uh, you know you're not trying to cause harm or anything like that. Um, that that was where I was coming from. My my significant mistake was the manner in which I ch I chose to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I don't know you, you don't know me, so I don't know how it would have went if I would have went up to you and said, hey, can I, can I talk to you about this? I don't know if you had told me, you know, piss off or, or, or what. Um, but that wasn't my, when I was approaching you, your, your first amendment audit, auditing wasn't in the, in the forefront of what 
I thought you were gathering intelligence, to be, to be perfectly honest. As we spent time together, then I started to figure out, even though it was a back and forth, I gained a, a clear understanding of what, um, what your purpose was, what your intent was. That's why as we, as we talked, I started to feel more and more like shit because of the way I was, you, the way I, you were perceiving me as acting towards you. Um, and that's why I offered to bring you in here. You're 100% right. This is the people's house. We're, we're, we're tenants in it. Um, so you would agree that we allow you guys to be here? Yeah. It's only I mean, we, we yeah. elect some public officials to be in our public offices and 100%. things like that. So uh, under a representative republic, the people choose who their uh, elected officials are to represent them to carry out the type of governance that they expect. So, um, you know, it, it, we do the very best we can do. We screw it up sometimes. A hundred percent we screw it up sometimes. But it's, you know, we can either screw it up and, and try to do what, what has been done for years coming up to, to even to this point today, try to fix it, cover it up, or make excuses for it. And that's why I said I don't like to make excuses. Um, or we can say, man, I screwed up. I need some education on this. I made a mistake. I'm a man like you are. I, I'm humble. Um, you know, I, I, we can talk religion if you want, but I don't. most people don't. I, I, I consider myself to be a very religious person, so I, I know in the eyes of God, I'm going to make mistakes everything I do, but as long as I try to be better, um, a better person, treat people better, act better, serve better with a servant's heart, um, I mean that's what I can do but you're, you're right I, I like what you guys do I think it keeps people honest it keeps them transparent um, you know the, the, the pretty significant negative interactions with, with auditors we see it we watch it too mm -hmm. and we're not unlike everybody else when we see it we see cops do bad stuff and we call it out that, that was horrible that, mm -hmm. was, that, that shouldn't happen how can we be better so it doesn't happen I will say, um, you know, there's videos of our guys out there with the local auditor. They do a great job. Some of them try to over-explain stuff because I think, I, I think the internet is a, di a dialogue and it really doesn't need to be. It just, you need to do your thing and we'll see you later. Uh, especially in the obvious ones, right? Um, the obvious police are on stops, people stop and record them and stuff like that, 100%, 100% legal. What you were doing was 100% legal. I was viewing it through a different lens. Right. So. But And then, see, that's where my auditors, and I'm going to say this, guys, because I know you're going to say it, and you're going to say it in the comments. That's where my viewers are going to have an issue, because they're going to say, how are you viewing a First Amendment protected activity, mm -hmm. somebody who's not doing anything illegal, somebody who's doing something perfectly well within his rights that shouldn't cause any negative police attention, because it's going to mm -hmm. cause some police attention, um, how are you viewing that in a in a negative light? How are you viewing that as getting gathering in information, right? Sure. And so what they're gonna say is he needs more training. He, huh. he doesn't have right. enough. Right. Right? And you're the police chief, so the chief of <laughs> police chief. You're the <laughs> chief of police. Yeah. So they're gonna they're gonna slam you hard, right? Sure. And so so how would you address a, a comment like that? Because they're gonna make it. Right, right. So let, let's look at it as a why in the road, okay? In, in 2018, 2019, when we didn't have heightened anxiety, things happen, people wanting to bomb police stations and stuff like that. It's a balance, right? So I can't 100% say somebody filming is, is doing their, their First Amendment activities and just ignore it. I don't know. We don't know until we get out there and look. And as we got out there and looked, and like I said, we had that dialogue and I understood 100% what your intentions were that you're conducting a First Amendment audit doesn't mean we can't backtrack and, and, and try to make it right. But what, what, I want, what I want your viewers to understand is things aren't normal right now. We're, try, we're trying as a, as, a, as a policing agency to, to, to ease fears in the community and make them normal, all the while our people are getting, getting threatened. It's not an excuse to go out and be heavy handed. They don't point, you know, I would have really freaked out if I had had guys point guns at you and do all kinds of stuff, obviously, I don't think it would have ever escalated to that point based on how our staff, you know, approaches things. But it's, it's weird times. Um, 
it's a it's a protected activity we support it if somebody else tried to stop you we would make sure that they understood that that was the case but we we didn't know we don't know what we don't know and until we get out and talk to you about what's going on um we were just cautious we're cautious we're cautious about things that this place never had to be cautious about because of an incident with a with a political group in town not too long ago and then you got the other side wanting to you know saying we're not doing enough and that it, it's just crazy it's just craziness it's not it's, it's i don't want it to sound like an excuse you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but i can't ignore that stuff either but again how do we fix it I mean, how do we bridge Shit, that gap? I, don't, I, th I think I said this. it earlier, right? You, it's pretty simple. Do you think you could have done something to help it? Honest could, question. Could I have? Yeah. Oh, oh, I mean, I could have. So if you're asking the question of could I have basically stopped it from being a, a confrontation, of course, I could have said, hey, how's it going? I'm a First Amendment auditor. I'm auditing and blah, blah, blah. See you later. But that's the problem. And that's the one thing where I always say on my channel, I'm not a First Amendment auditor. Uh -huh. I am not. I am an auditor. I'm going to stand on my Fifth Amendment right, my Fourth Amendment right, my First Amendment right, 100%. if we had it here in California, my Second Amendment right, and and it's not my job to tell your police that. I want it to be hard for you guys. I want it to be the hardest thing you have to do. That's why I'm known as a tough auditor with the biggest cojones you've ever seen, because I push that line. I push it hard. Everything I can do perfectly legal because I want it should be hard for you guys right. because you guys are having a, a hard job to do every day and you have to make quick decisions. So if you have an easy training and simple training, it, it, that doesn't help you guys. Mm -hmm. We're helping to train you in a sense, right? And but do you think there's another way to 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 go down that path to help us be better at what we're doing. I mean, because, there's a there's a million ways. I, I because there's would you agree there's craziness out there right now? Yeah, there no there is. I agree. So that's that that's what I mean. I guess that's the point I'm trying to make. You're welcome here. You're welcome here. Every one of you viewing this is welcome here. This is the people's house. This is uh, the people's police department. I, when I was out there talking to you, I said if we sat down at a, at a table in the middle of nowhere and didn't have cameras, I guarantee a lot of our ideology would probably be. In alignment right I the Constitution is our founding document that the guides that is supposed to guide us right but look what's happening to it it's constantly being attacked it's right. constantly being attacked right and I understand that so it's a it's a balancing act of, of, of ensuring all that happens all the while trying to make it as safe as possible for everybody so the reality is I can make it I can make an environment completely safe completely safe what are you willing to give up well, yeah, that's the thing. Right? So that's the mesh, right? Um, so ensuring that, that, that you are free from governmental harassment for um, exercising your rights, your constitutional rights, but also trying to weigh that balance of making things safe for everybody uh, when we don't know, because, again, we don't know what we don't know. I mean, shit, how do you, how do you, how do you navigate that? I mean, I get, I get things need to be tough because it's a tough world and you need to have thick skin and, and learn to navigate it. Um, but, uh, but I, I just, I can't help but think just from one person to another that you can't, you know, say, dude, first amendment, leave me alone. And it would have been. The, the thing is, is if we, if we do, then we don't right. see the, the real you, right? Right. And that's what we want. We want to see the real you. Cause we want to know if you, yeah. if you, if you earn the right to wear that hat. Right. Yeah. And so all these things that are happening in the community, I think people would say, um, especially between police and the public, people would say, stop killing people, right? right. Better policing. Get right. rid of the bad policing. I got arrested a couple weeks ago in South San Francisco for doing this. Yeah. No questions asked. Leave your trespassing on public property arrested, right? And now there's a huge issue over it. So the, 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 that's the whole thing. If, if somebody's doing something that you see is illegal, we're not saying don't make contact. We're saying make contact, watch, but try not to do the. We, we see typical in my, in my videos, other auditors' videos, police come stand close. You did that. Right. Police come say, well, I'm not here. You're here. You move six feet. I'm not moving. Yeah. It was you, wrong. you did that, right? It was wrong. So, and, yeah. I, and I get that you, you say it's wrong and you admit it, and that's awesome because that's like first step to rebuilding that gap, right? Rebridging that gap. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Now, um, and half the thing is, I'm, I, 
I can't hear that well, so I, I always lean forward. So it looks like people that I'm getting in their space, and that's not my intent. I just right. I lean forward. I'm trying to better understand. Right. These things don't make it easy. Yeah, no, it muffles. That's why I hold the camera so close to me so people can Is hear. the audio good? Are they going to be able to hear? Yeah, it's pretty good. They'll hear us. I got it zoomed in a little bit, but I can turn it up on my software. So okay. we'll be all right. I think that's it, man. That's all I wanted to do. That was easy to, to kind of bridge that, what happened. I don't want to get into the whole political conundrum that's out there sure, right now sure. in the world so. I, I will agree 100 percent um you auditing ensuring that constitutional rights aren't taken from the people is a huge huge needed asset in our society today absolutely i will not i will not disagree with you at, at all at all um you know um I, w I wish I can. I, I wish I could have left you with a better taste in your mouth out there when I walked up. I really do. Um, it was coming from. A, it was coming from a, a, a place not viewing an auditor. I'll, I'll. I'll be a hundred percent honest with you on that. Um, after. After understanding what you're doing, it, it, with without hesitation, I apologize to you, and it's a sincere apology. It wasn't my intent to. Um, you know. It, make you feel like your your first amendment uh protected activities were being suppressed by us we don't get down like that that's not that's not what we do uh, uh, you know the constitution is for everybody it's not for the police or, or selected group of people who um, um feel that only they have those rights and everybody else should shut up and sit back and do what they say um so well that's good that's that's what we want to see i mean it was obviously a learning lesson and and that's part of it too we do it to teach. I mean, it's not just to bridge the gap. It's also to teach that you guys have to bridge the gap. Mm -hmm. but we get officers laughing at us, calling us. I mean, it's just crazy the things, and you see them on YouTube as well. Yeah. And uh, we're we're trying to bridge that gap, you know. So yeah, I don't I don't like some of the stuff I see, and I will tell every law enforcement agency out there: if you have personnel to do that, you can't brush it under the rug as being. Well, officers were being annoyed by somebody, so I'll just excuse that behavior or interaction. As administrators, you need to take a hard look at that. You need to ensure that your 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 police are serving the public. We're, we only wear the bat, and, and and this ain't this ain't BS. And this is how I was how I was raised. I'm going from the military into into policing and, and service is all I've known. That badge is not a symbol of authority; it's a symbol of public trust. So the only way we get, the only way we're able to do our job is if you trust that we're out there doing it the correct way. Right. And if we're out there screwing it up, we need to be called on it. And we need to, we need, but with that, I would, I would ask for some grace um, in that we're human. We don't do it right. If I would have said, get out of here, beat feet, um, never want to talk to you again. What would you have thought of, not only me, but the, the Placerville Police Department or the community. You probably would have thought we were, I mean, fill in the blank. You know, yeah. It would be positive. Yeah. Interactions like this need to happen more. And police administrators, when their officers make a mistake, don't go into cover-up mode. Don't go into protect-your-ass mode. Realize that there was an issue uh, and try to fix it. Today, the issue was mine. My staff did fine, according to you. They, they sound like they did fine. They did. Well, I was staring at you. I was having Sergeant Goodell talk to me as well. So... It wasn't a stare as a stare. It was just I was looking at you uh, as he was talking. Um, uh, so there was mannerisms that maybe that made you feel like that that was occurring. That that wasn't the case. I'm not a confrontational person in, in the least bit. Those that that's I've never gotten down like that in my entire career. Um, but you know I I don't know I, you know. Yeah, I mean, that's another thing we got to work on in, in policing, too, is reasonable suspicion. You know, a lot of the times we'll come up and take pictures of cars and officers are telling that into, well, you could be breaking in. So it's reasonable, not reasonable suspicion. I think right? that's a leap. So, I agree with you. And, and that's, it didn't happen here. Um, mm -hmm. But the concern was, well, you're taking pictures of license plates and so on. Um, but it, it, you even said it was legal, so we but we've already got that out the way. So yeah, um, I just I, I just want to make sure you understood where the what I was viewing the the what I was viewing your activity as initially wasn't what it was ever intended to be. I know you what obviously what you were doing. So gotcha, cool. Well, I appreciate you, man. Bay fam, let me know what you think. Let me know how he did and. 
you guys be the judge. It's the, what do they call it? The court of public opinion. That's what we call it, right? So thank you. I appreciate it. I'll, I'll give, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give you my email address. Um, if you have any questions or concerns or comments, you can get a, get a hold of me. Uh, you know, people can email me if they want. Okay. You want to say it or? Um, yeah, it's J-W-R-E-N at cityofplacerville.org. Okay. You guys heard it. I'll write it up on the screen. So thank you. I appreciate it.